Meanwhile, tonight, the rush is now on in Cass County there to get ahead of a new surge in COVID-19 cases. In fact, in just 24 hours, the last 24 hours alone, cases nearly doubled to 1,025. Tonight, your own Rich Van Wyke shows the tough restrictions the county is now enforcing to keep everyone there safe. Stores are counting heads. No more than 125 customers in the biggest of retailers and a lot fewer in the small stores. Masks are a musk, single shoppers only, no one under the age of 16. Terry Doran says it's about time. Social distancing is the only way to stop this. We should have done it a month ago. But the new restrictions don't go far enough, according to Chantel Hudson. I don't think it's helping any. I mean, because, I mean, you're still out and about. Behind Logansport's deserted streets, public health officials are in a life and death struggle to get ahead of a rising curve in coronavirus cases. 1,025 and counting. Logansport Memorial Hospital has just 83 beds. The COVID care unit is already full. Administrators are concerned about being overrun with patients. The curve is our enemy right now. Hospital CEO Perry Gay worries about the numbers. We knew that they could get to the point they are today, but we always looked at it as that was just a possibility and not reality, and now it's reality. The vast majority of COVID cases are tied to the local Tyson meatpacking plant. All the test results aren't in yet. A county health department COVID clinic is evaluating 100 people a day. The hospital has an adequate supply of PPE. There are plans to move patients to hospitals in other counties. Staffing is the biggest concern. With the amount of people we're going to see, the biggest problem we have right now is having nurses and RTs to take care of them. Drawing a harder, wider line on social distancing, officials hope will slow the growing wave of COVID-19. Rich, thank you. Now, despite the sharp rise in cases, Cass County right now so far reports one death. Here's a snapshot of COVID-19 across the state of Indiana. We had 963 new cases since yesterday, bringing our state total up to 15,961. And most of those new cases taking place in Cass County. That's where we've seen the outbreak at that Tyson Foods Meat Processing Center, now up to more than 1,000 positive cases of coronavirus. And tonight, we're beginning to see the impact on some of the surrounding counties around Cass County. For instance, in Miami County, Sunday they had 22 cases. It's jumped up to 93. And in Howard County, they had 72 cases last week. That number's jumped up to 152. 